the state of Montana loses the infrastructure, we've lost our forest. We have no way to take care of this wood. It just sits there and accumulates. And then you get a hot, hot summer, a lightning strike, or someone accidentally sets a fire, and it takes off with the wind, and you don't stop those. They burn everything in their path. It's a bomb waiting to go off. One of the problems we're having right now is, you know, every time we lose a sawmill, not only do we lose the jobs and all that, but we lose the capacity to manage the forest and get some kind of a economic, you know, driver that allows us to do it. I think the nice thing about a forest-based economy is it is a green economy. And you know, what, what could be better than that? It's a renewable resource, it's good jobs, it's, it's fun work, it helps the forest to stay healthy, and, and we have the opportunity to get all the things we want out of it if we, if we just balance our actions. We don't have the resources to do the whole landscape. You know, the, the magnitude of the problem is so big that we, we are only attacking some small percentage of, of the problem, and so we need to be really careful about choosing the right places and spending our money and our energy wisely. If you're going to make investments in forest products infrastructure, you need a certain flow of material and a steady flow in order to make capital investments and sustain jobs. It, it has to be evened out. We're all partners in this. We need big mills that move a lot of wood. The Forest Service owns the vast majority of the timber in the state. The DNRC can help put those sales up. And with all three of them, and the loggers, and the truckers, and the foresters, it all gets done. Small mills like myself, we can't do it. We're just a specialty mill. So I do think we have to be more active now. Uh, we, we understand the natural processes and try to work with them, but that if we do nothing, um, we, we're gonna see these impacts we've had with the large fires hundreds of thousands and millions of acres burning in, in very short periods of time where we're seeing, you know, impacts at a, at a magnitude that we haven't experienced in our lifetimes, that begins to tell you that something might be out of balance and that um, we're losing ground and we may be losing the ability of the forest to sustain itself and sustain us. If we don't manage our forests, they die, they rot, and they're just not healthy. If we want clean air and clean water in Montana, we have to manage our forests.